Mary, you Mark. were the first person to experience what it was like on Mach 1, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. How did that feel? Did it rattle never, the snot? Did no, it like never this? Did it, or it just... Never replace sex. <laughs> it was a good ride, but not that. Day. It took me nine flights to get there. To get get there, and as I, as you we explained last night, the reason that things went to hell at point nine four was because of shock wave back at the hinge point of the elevator. We lost our elevator, and then we developed this system of moving the whole horizontal stabilizer with a jack screw and an air motor. And you know, that that's one thing General Boyd picked me to fly the airplane. The dome regulators, where you take 5,000 pounds of nitrogen gas pressure, run it through a dome regulator, which a dome regulator you're familiar with. You see them in, ga in the gas field? Absolutely. The gas wells? Yeah. Well, that dome, we, we took the dome regulator to reduce 5,000 pounds down to 1,500 pounds, use that to raise and lower the gear and work flat. Then we split that through two more dome regulators to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank at 330 and the water alcohol tank at 330. Now, when I first took over the X1, we had a diaphragm leak in the first stage regulator. Well, we, Bell was not involved. It's, it's all Air Force by the end and NASA run the instrumentation. So I, I took took the first stage regulator out of the airplane and they had a, do a flat rather diaphragm in, in the supply, took the diaphragm and replaced it in the, right, and put it back in the airplane and here came these Bell engineers, <laughs> you know, out there said, so this isn't going to work. They, they were going to change the diaphragm. What the hell are you doing? I said, I changed the diaphragm. <laughs> well, how do you know the test? I said, I was 12 years old, I was changing the goddamn diaphragms and the regulators for my dad's natural gas well. <laughs>